Okay, so our next lesson is all about evaluating function po. Okay, so the learning outcomes at the end of this lesson, the learner is able to evaluate the functions and solve problems involving functions. So what do we mean by evaluating function? Evaluating a function means replacing or substituting the value of a variable in the function. So, ang ibig kong sabihin yan, papalitan po natin yung value ng variable. May binibigay pong value for, uh, usually for x value, ayan. After plugging in the value of x and simplifying, you will get the result for y. O yung pong f of x po na tinutukoy po natin sa function. In case of function, we will replace x with the values given to get y or f of x. So, let's have our examples. What is the value of f of x if you put 4? Ano daw po yung value ng f of x kapag ka nagpalit ka ng x ng 4? Okay, so we have this equation given. We have f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 20. So, ito po yung solution. Of course, you need to write first the given. Ayan muna po yung gagawin. And then, yung next po na gagawin, copy 3. Then, yung value po ng x na given ay 4. Tapos po, copy po natin tong exponent, minus 2. Times, ito po ulit, x po ulit, palitan po ulit ng positive 4. Then, squared, copy nyo pa rin po yan. Then, next po, plus 5. Then, yung x po is 4 po ulit, palitan, minus 20. Ngayon po, baka pumalito dito, baka ipag-multiply yung 3 at 4, hindi po iyon. Yung mauuna po yung my exponent. So, you have to multiply 4 3 times by itself. Ang ibig kong sabihin niyan, 4 raised to 3, that is 4 times 4 times 4. Tatlong beses po. So, that is 64. Ito po yon. Then, copy nyo po yung 3 na nandyan sa inahan. Minus 2. Tapos, ito po may exponent po ulit, 4 raised to 2, sabi niya po. So, that means 4 times 4, we have 16. Plus 5 times 4, minus 20. Then, ito na po tayo, 3 times 64 is 192. Positive lang po yan. Positive 3 times positive 64 is 192. Then, negative 2 times positive 16 is negative 32. Then, dito po, Positive 5 times positive 4 is positive 20. Then, copy na lang po itong nasa dulo na minus 20. Then, next po, copy 192. Kung nalilito po, konti-kontiin po yung pagsasolve. Positive 20, negative 20, parehas na parehas ng, sa, ng number, magkaiba po ng sign. So, that means 20 minus 20, that is 0. Kaya po, nakakancel na po siya dyan. Then, ang natira po is 192 minus 32. So, that is 160. Kasi mas mataas po ang 192 sa 32, kaya po ang 160 ay positive. So, dito po, palitan nyo din ng value. So, hindi ko na po napalitan dyan, pero you have to evaluate also or substitute din yung value ng x dito po sa my f of x. Let's have another example. Ayan. What is the value of f of x if you put negative 2? So, kung kanina po ang nilagay po nating value ay um, positive, ngayon naman po negative. Tignan po natin kung may pagkakaiba po ng um, pag-multiply. So, we have this given. Write the given, of course. Then, substitute, substitute po natin yung value ng x. We have 3. Tapos po yung x po, negative 2 po yung binigay sa atin. Then, copy po itong exponent. Ayan po. Then, minus 2. Yung x po ulit is negative 2. Then, exponent po is positive 2. Plus 5 times, yan po ulit, x negative 2 po yung ipalit. Then, minus 20 po doon sa dulo. Next po, ito pong negative 2 raised to 3. This means that we have to multiply negative 2 3 times by itself. Okay po, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Ayan po ibig sabihin yan. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. 
times negative 2 po, that is negative 8. Kasi po, positive 4, negative 2, magkaiba ng sign. So, automatic, negative, and 4 times 2 is 8. Ayan po. Kaya, 2 negative siya dito. Then, minus 2, negative 2 raised to 2, that is negative 2 times negative 2, ne positive 4 po siya nun. Then, plus 5 times negative 2 minus 20. Yan. So, positive 3 times negative 8 is, ayan po, magkaiba po ng sign automatic, negative. Kaya po, 8 times 3 is 24. So, negative 24. Then, negative 2 times positive 4, we have negative 8. Then, positive 5 po times negative 2, ito po yun, we have negative 10. Tapos po, kopyahin po yung nasa dulo na minus 20. Then, kapag ka po, um, dahil magkakaparehas, negative 24, negative 8, negative 10, negative 20, ang gagawin mo po dyan, same sign po silang lahat, so you have to add them. A-add po natin, so we have 62 and copy their common sign. Ang common sign po nila, pare-parehas po na sign ay negative. So we have negative 62 yung final answer. Another, another example. Ayan. What is the value of f of x if you put x minus 2? So, paano naman kung x minus 2 yung ipapalit mo? Hindi lang basta number, meron pong letter. Okay, we have the given f of x equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 20. Ngayon, syempre, sulat muna po yung given. Tapos po, ipalit na po yung value po ng x. Ayan po, yung x minus 2 po yung ipapalit po natin sa value ng x. Yan. Then next po, 2, eto pong x minus 2, gagamitan po natin ng FOIL method. Paano po yan? That means x minus 2 times x minus 2. Sa FOIL method po, first term times first term po, we have x times x. Okay. So ganito po yan. We have x minus 2 times x minus 2 po ulit. Yan. Dalawang beses daw po kasi ang exponent niya kasi dito ay 2. So, x times x, first term po, foil method nakaturo dyan. So, first term times first term, x times x, that is x squared. Yan po. Ito. Yan. Then next po, x times negative 2. Outer po yan. Dulo, dulo, labas, labas. Okay po, x times negative 2, that is negative 2x. Yeah, negative 2x. Tapos po, negative 2x times, negative 2 times x, sorry, that is negative 2x din po ulit. Yan. Then, negative 2 times negative 2 po, last term, eto last, last. Yan, last term po, so we have positive 4. Ngayon po, parehas etong dalawa. Negative 2x saka yung negative 2x. Kaya po dito sa sinulat ko, negative 4x na po siya. Ganun po yung sa FOIL method. Kailangan mong pagsamahin din yung magkaparehas yung um, combined like terms po. Then, plus, ayan po, pag multiply, 5 times x is 5x. And then, positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Then, copy po natin yung sa dulo na minus 20. The next po, ayan, distribute po natin ulit yung, ayan, multiply, distribute each term by 2. So, 2 times x squared po is 2x squared. Ayan, 2 times negative 4x is negative 8x. Basta nag-multiply ka ng positive sa negative, automatic negative. And then, positive 2 times positive 4, that is, ayan, positive 8. Ayan po yun. Then, yung kasunod po niyan, kinapi ko na lang para sama-sama um, po. Eto, kasunod, kinapi ko na lang. And then, so pag sama-samain po natin yung like terms, sabi dyan po, oh, combine like terms here. So, we have 2x squared. Wala na po siyang kaparehas na may x squared sa taas. Yung pong exponent ay 2, wala nang kaparehas. Negative 8x, yan. Meron pa bang may x dyan? Ayan po, yung positive 5x. So, ayun po yung sinunod po. 
para po kapag ka nag-add ka, magkakasama-sama po, madali pong ma-add or ma-subtract. Then, positive 8, tapos po negative 10 at negative 20. Then next po, 2x squared, copy, dahil wala na siyang kaparehas. Tapos po yung negative 8x, saka po yung positive 8x, pares po silang may x, di ba? Ngayon po, magkaiba sila ng sign. Negative 8, positive 5. So you have to subtract them. 8 minus 5 is 3. Tapos po, ang mas mataas ay yung 8, kaya po naging negative 3x. Ito po siya. Then ito po, positive 8 minus 10, magkaiba na naman po ng sign. Magkaiba po siya ng sign, so subtract po. 10 minus 8 is 2. At ang sign po ng mas mataas ay negative kasi mas mataas ang 10. Then minus 20 po dyan, di ba? Kaya po dito sa final answer ko, naging na siyang negative 22. Kasi parehas na ng sign negative 2, negative 20, you have to add them. So, 20 plus 2 is 22. Then copy their common sign. So, the final answer is 2x squared minus 3x minus 22. So, yan po yung answer po natin dito sa example na to. Then next po, eto naman. Yung mismong f of x naman daw po ay 24 yung value. Ano daw po yung value ng x? Yan po. So, eto po yung given natin. x squared. f of x equals x squared minus 13x minus 6. So, yan po yung original na given. And then, we have to substitute. Sabi yung f of x daw 24. Kaya yan po yung pinalitan. Then, the rest, copy. Yun ang dyan sa right side. Kasi, wala namang binigay na value ng x x dahil siya yung hinahanap. Ngayon po, para masolve po natin yung value niyan, si 24, ilipat po natin dito sa kanan para po magkakasama po lahat. So, kung positive po siya dyan, using the additional property of equality, ay subtraction property of equality rather, or yung binabanggit po natin na transpose, yan, lipat po natin. Kung positive siya dyan sa kaliwa, magiging negative dito sa bandang kanan pagkalumipat ng equal sign. The next po, so we have to, ayan, simplify po natin yung nasa dulo itong number. Kasi ito wala namang kaparehas, bring down x squared minus 13x, ito po, negative 6 and negative 24. Parehas po yan ng sign, so you have to add them. 6 plus 24 is 30, and their common sign is negative. Kaya po, itong nakabilog, siya po yung x squared minus 13x minus 30. Ngayon po, paano natin makukuha yung factors po yan? Or yung value po ng x mismo? Kasi pinag na po yan sa grade 10. So, yung pong factors niyan ay x minus 15 and x plus 2. Then, para po makuha yung value, equate lang po natin sa 0. x minus 15 equals 0. So, that is x equals 15. Then, dito po, x plus 2 equals 0, magiging x minus 2. Dilipat kasi siya ng sign, kaya po, bumaliktad po, or nabago po yung sign, nag-reverse po yung sign niya. Ngayon, paano ba natin kinukuha yan? Ito po yung overview, kung paano po natin nakuha yung factors. So, kapag ka po, um, hinahanap yung factors or yung value po neto, this is a quadratic equation or quadratic expression. So, kailangan po natin i-consider yung gitna at yung nasa dulo. Ngayon, ang gagawin po natin, um, syempre, ito pong nasa unahan, pag po natin yan, that is x and x. Yan po yun. Ngayon po, ito pong nasa dulo yung tingnan. Si negative 30, kailangan daw po natin mahanap yung factors po ng negative 30. Ano-ano bang mga number yung kapag kami multiply mo ay negative 30. 1 times 30, negative 1 times 30, positive 2 times negative 15, negative 2 times positive 15, 3 and negative 10, negative 3 and 10, positive 5 and negative 6, and negative 5 and 6. Ngayon po, tingin ka ulit. Kapag ka nasulat mo na, alam mo na, tingin ka sa nasa gitna. Sabi niya, negative 13. Alin-alin ba dito? Sa lahat ng sinulat mo, alin ba dyan? Yung kapag kainad mo or sinubtract ay negative 13. Ayan po, nakapula na siya. 
yung positive 2 po at yung negative 15. Kasi magkaiba ng sign you have to subtract them. 15 minus 2 is 13. Then ang mas matas po ay yung 15 kaya po negative 13 yung sagot. So eto po yung kukuhanin natin. Ngayon po, ayan. So thus the factors are, ayun po yung pinagiwalay na x, x, and x. Tapos po, ayan, positive 2. Tapos po yung negative 15. So yung factors po natin ay, ayan, x plus 2 and x minus 15 or yung baliktad. Same lang po yun, kahit alin po yung mauna. So yan, another example. What is the value of f of x if you put positive 3? So dito po may radicals po yung given. Okay, so palitan lang po yung x na value ng 3. Ang, ang value po ng x ay 3. So, the square root of 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 5. Ngayon po, 6 minus 5 is 1. And the square root of 1 is 1. So, gumamit po ng calculator, lalo na kung mataas po yung number dyan. Pero ang may mga square root po, 1. Then, 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 3, 9. 9 po yung kasunod. 16, 25, 36, 49, 64. 81, 100, 121, 144. So, yun po yung mga may square root. So, kung walang square root dito, pwedeng hanggang dito na lang yung sagot. For example, ang sagot po dyan ay negative, ay square root of 5. Kung wala na pong square root yan, so hanggang dyan na lang po yung sagot niya. For example lang. Pero dito dahil ang hinahanap po yung square root ng 1, at ang square root ng 1 ay 1, so the value is f of x equals 1. Next, ayan. So, ganun din po, same lang. Ngayon po, ang nasa taas lang kasi yung may radical sign. Papalitan daw po natin yung value ng x ng 20. So, we have square root of 20, uh, 2x minus 4 rather, all over x plus 2. Ngayon po, 20 po ipapalit kay x. 2 times 20 minus 4 over 20 plus 2. Kasi po, ayun, papalitan nga po yung value ng x. 2 times 20 is 40. Minus 4, yan. Sa ilalim po, 20 plus 2, that is 22. Ngayon po, ay yung 40 minus 4 is 36. Sa ilalim po, 22. Ngayon, eto lang po yung my radical sign. So, yan lang po yung hahanapan mo ng square root. So, ang square root po ng 36 is 6. Then, copy mo lang yung nasa ilalim. Ngayon po, bakit naging 3 over 11? Kasi po, sinimplify po natin yan by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So, ang final answer po natin is 3 over 11. Then, next po, ayan, 20 na naman po yung pinapalit. Pero, dito po kasi buo po yung square root sign or yung radical sign po natin. We have f of x equals the square root of 2x minus 4 over x plus 5. So, palitan po natin ng 20. Ayan po, 2 times 20 minus 4, 20 plus 5. Then, 40 minus 4 is 36. Ayan po, 20 plus 5 is 25. Ayan. The next po, ang square root po, kailangan mong hanapin. Yung square root ng dalawang yan. E, pares po may square root. Kaya po, ang square root po ng 36 is 6. Mawawala na po yung radical sign ha. Then, ang square root po ng 25 ay 5. So, ang final answer po natin is 6 over 5. Next. Ayan. Ito po. Ito po yung pinaka-iniiwasan kapag ka meron po tayong um, fraction. Ang denominator po iniiwasan na maging 0. Bakit kaya? So, what is the value of f of x if you put positive 3? So, ito po yung given natin. f of x equals... 2x minus 7 over 2x minus 6. Ngayon po, palitan daw po natin ang 3. So, we have f of 3 equals 2 times, yan, 3 po, minus 7. 2 times 3, minus 6 naman. And 2 times 3 is 6. Tapos po, minus 7. Copy, copy. Then, 2 times 3 is 6 po ulit. Then, minus 6 po dyan. Isama nyo po yun. Huwag pong kakalimutan. Okay. 6 minus 7, magkaiba po ng sign, so you have to subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. Tapos po, mas mataas ang 7, kaya naging negative 1. Ngayon yung nasa ilalim, 6 minus 6, eh 0 po yun. 
Kaya ito po yung sinasabi kong bawal po sa fraction. Dahil any number divided by 0 is undefined. Okay po? Any number divided by 0 is undefined. Bawal po yan. So kapag ka 0 ang ilalim, undefined po yung sagot po natin. Um, except 0. 0 over 0 is 0. Okay po? Except 0 po ito ha. Okay. So that's all.